Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk more about the DB configurator. So uh, in our previous uh, tutorial, we have seen that how we have segregated the users, which is Web Archive, Web IS, and Web MWS. So it's now time to create the tables within the um, within the database. Now, in order to do that, um, right, so we have to run the DB configurator uh, script. As I said before, there are two versions of DB configurator. One is the dot bat uh, UI, UI, which is a UI version of it. And the other one is the non UI version of it. Okay, the non UI version of it. So one that has UI and the other one that has non UI, right? So we are going to work with the UI part of it. And as I said before, there are three users which have already been created and we are going to group the products. So uh, something like this, IS would the user IS would consist of TN, uh, the IS itself and uh, optimize and many more of that. And uh, optimize, let's go with optimize. Uh, it's a okay, optimize and web m, uh, web m user web MWS user oops web MWS user will have MWS component. So we're gonna create that and let's see how to do that. So we need to navigate to this particular folder, uh, which is nothing but the common DB bin. So let's navigate there. So here you have. It's a common DB bin and just let me kind of slide it over here so that we can have a bit of understanding. All right. <coughs> so you have this two users, uh, UI bat and dot bat. So I'm just going to click on this UI bat, right click run as administrator. And uh, while it's in process, the steps that are that needs to be no, no, is that we need to create the tables, right? So just let me go back there. All right. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna create the tables. So the first step is we are gonna create the tables for each user. So create tables. Okay. Right. So I kind of have already done that before. Um, that's the reason you kind of you're kind of seeing this TB space. Uh, I already have created the user, but I'm just gonna recreate it. Okay, so if you can just uh, pay a bit attention here, um, just uh, um, right. So if you just gonna pay a bit attention here, you have three uh, five options, right? Create, drop, migrate, and recreate. Create, drop, migrate, and recreate. So since I've already created the users for IS and the other components as other products as well. So I'm just going to drop it and recreate it so that you guys would understand what I'm talking about. So, but for the first time you need to create the tables. Please note you're creating the tables, not recreating it for the very first time. You're not recreating it. Recreating the tables will be carried out only and only once if there is some issue, right? So, uh, but either the way, we'll just look at that as well. So I'm going to select IS here, IS as the product, and I'll also select trading network and process engine. These three components will be created under this particular user, web IS. So uh, while this is in process, I'll, I'll bring the SQL developer as well so that we can see the tables are getting created in the SQL developer as well. Not sorry, not in the SQL developer, we can just view in the SQL developer. So, right. So we have created this, we have selected this uh, comp product. Then the next step is that the database, you need to select which database it is. It's Oracle. So select Oracle database, right? Okay. Right. So select, select Oracle and give the input string, right? So this is our input string. If you guys remember, this is our input string. Uh, oops. So, JDBC, um, sorry, so this is the URL. Um, uh, I 
आई थिंक जे डी बी सी डब्ल्यू एम ऑरकल इंस्टेड ऑफ सर्वर रिप्लेस सर्वर विथ लोकल होस्ट लोकल होस्ट एंड द पोर्ट इज वन फाइव टू टू एंड दर्विस नेम इज एक्स ई पी डी बी वन एक्स ई पी डी बी वन सो दिस इज अवर होस्ट सॉरी दिस अवर यू आर एल स्ट्रिंग राइट नाउ यूजर नेम इज दिस इज द यूजर नेम वेब आई एस अच्छे वेब आई एस वेब आई एस एंड द पासवर्ड आई हैव कैप फॉर दिस फॉर द पर्टिकुलर यूजर इज एडमिन वन टू थ्री एंड आई से क्रिएट द टेबल स्पेस वॉट इज दिस टेबल स्पेस एंड वॉट इज द डेटा बेस यूजर आई एम जस्ट नॉट गोन कवर दिस अप इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यूजर्स टू डू अ सेल्फ स्टडी ऑन दैट सो क्रिएट अ टेबल स्पेस एंड डेटा बेस यूजर right so i'm just going to give the name here all right if possible let me see let me think about it i can cover that in the next session as well anyway so so create the table space and database user so as the name itself suggests it's an administrator username and password so administrator username is system and the password is admin123 that is what i have retained and the table space directory right so this is the table space directory that i had provided initially so say for example this is what i had provided you need to create one directory here called table space table space and then take this path and provide here so that the table space will be created for that particular us user so i had already created called tb space and i have kept it under this particular one uh this particular path that's the reason you're seeing this particular folder is called as xe express edition and if you navigate within you can see the data file right so you can see certain transactions certain information that's already available within the file right so and all you have to do is click on once you have completed it then you can just execute right so just let me create uh i have already created this let me recreate it okay see while while in the recreation this particular option the administrator option is will not be available right so because it's recreating it so i'm just going to execute it right so it's getting executed which means the tables are getting recreated it but for the very first time you need to create it again you need to create it please remember that always you need to create it okay so um just let's connect to web is in the sql developer so we'll just say web is and username is web is password is admin123 and its local host and port is 1522 service name is xepdb1 that's the xepdb1 and you test it let's test that connection is success and you connect it right so, so just uh, let's see what's happening over here okay it's completed now in case if i have to recreate it again please note that you need to select this create it and then you need to provide the table space so i'll do that anyways just in case so system admin 1 2 3 let's see what happens it says that it's see it's it's, it's already there right so it cannot be translated it's that's all fine it's already there so i i can't i can't create on top of that's already created i can drop it and recreate it see I, let me drop this and see what happens um as you can see in here there are so many tables that have been created as you can see is stands for integration server see that's the beauty of it now since you have externalized the database you have a control of all those things if you have embedded within the database within the application you would have never seen this right so that's the beauty of it so always externalize it now if i drop it just see if i just drop it okay i'm going to drop everything and see what happens so while it's in process let it get dropped completely Okay, that's good. It's getting dropped, and let's see what's happening in the data file. This also gets reflected with the latest timestamp. As you can see, it's fourteen oh nine twenty twenty one, which is good. 
and it's completed let's refresh it and you would have seen this would have gone so that's good so let's recreate it again let's create this time so create table space system admin one two three and table space and execute oops i think unable to access the specific i think we got the same error i guess so let's do one thing let's uncheck this and see what happens let me create it with this okay so guys i think i'll explain the significance of the table space eventually um either the way in case even if you have not created a table space that should be just fine all right so uh i will i will i'll bring the topic of the table space and the <coughs> and even this particular aspect uh of the database user and the data file so we'll just talk about that yeah so as of now it's created right so it's created I, i've just refreshed it so everything is created now in the similar way what i want you to guys do is that go back here create it specific for mws and in mws make sure that you give us webm mws and give the password table space is an optional for you in case if you want to do that and you create it so i've already done that for mws and as you can see just let me bring that up right so you have mws created right so it's there already so just it's which is good um just let me also look that look look at one aspect of it so <coughs> and optimize uh, optimize we have kind of grouped it over to this particular user so that's how you use the db configurator ui.bat to create the tables right so i'm going to stop this video and in the next video we're going to talk about the non ui part of it and see how we can work that out right so um yeah see you guys in the next tutorial thank you